Okay, so another transformer problem. You've done the simple transformer, the 100% efficient transformer, but this transformer is only 95% efficient. So it's gonna waste some of the energy that goes into it. And it's gonna turn into heat, maybe a bit of sound, but mostly heat. So our particular transformer here has 1,000 turns on the primary coil and 2,000 on the secondary coil. The voltage going into it, the primary voltage is 100 volts. So the first question, of course, is what is the secondary voltage? If you've practiced enough, it should be easy, but let's just use the formula and find out. We know that the secondary voltage over the primary voltage equals the secondary number of turns over the primary number of turns. Rearranging this, we can see that Vs equals Vp times Ns over Np. Subbing in, we can see that it's 100 volts times 2,000 divided by 1,000 turns. And when all that cancels out, we'll end up with 200 volts. And we say, obviously, of course. Doubling the number of turns doubles the voltage. This is a step up transformer. It's doubling the voltage. The only interesting thing here is that the efficiency didn't matter at all. Remember, this formula was good regardless of whether or not it was 100% efficient. The voltage will still double, and that's got, hopefully that makes some sense. What else though? How much current is actually going to come out? Think of this as part B. What's the secondary current going to be coming out of this? Again, if you've done enough practice, you can do in your head, hopefully pretty fast, what it should have been in the first place. If this was an efficient transformer, 100%, how much current would come out? But we can't use that formula because it was only for 100% efficiency. So let's go back a bit. If it was 100% efficient, then the power going into the primary would be equal to the power going out of the secondary. That's true if it's 100% efficient, but not anymore. So what do we do? How do we calculate it? If it's only 95% efficient, that means 95% of what goes in comes out. So if we put in 1,000 watts, only 950 are going to come out. So the power that goes in times 0.95 equals the power that goes out. Students often get that 0.95 on the wrong side. That's probably the most common mistake. And probably the only one for amongst kids who've actually tried this, because it's really not very difficult. So now I can just shove stuff in. I can say 0.95 equals power going into the primary. Well, that's IP times VP. And that's got to equal the power coming out, IS times VS. I'm trying to solve for IS, so IS equals 0.95 times IP VP over VS. Subbing that in, I can see that IP is 10 amps times 100 volts. I could have done that in my head, right? That's 1,000 watts divided by 200 volts, which was our answer from before. And I can see that that's 1,000 divided by 200. That's 5 amps. That's the answer that I would have had if it had been 100% efficient. And it turns out that all I have to do is multiply the current that I would have had by the efficiency. So maybe that's an easier way to do it. What's 95% of 5 amps? It's 4.75 amps. So pretty easy, really. In the end, now that we understand it, we could have just said, OK, do it pretending it's 100% efficient, and then multiply by the efficiency. But this really isn't the way it usually works in the real world either, because normally we want to have a certain amount of power coming out of our transformer. So maybe a better question would have been to say, hey, if I need IS to be 5 amps, if I need 1,000 watts coming out of this thing, then how much current has to go into it? And that would be a really good question for you to sit down right now and try. If you've understood our video here, then it should only take you a minute or a couple of seconds, I hope, really, to come up with the answer, which is 10.53 amps. But try it.